I want to show you how I care for my hydrangea. This hydrangea I plant, uh, transplanted, it was in heavy shade and I brought it into sun which helped that to bloom and then this one started to come out. But because of that, you know, too much shade, it wasn't producing too many blooms. But the other thing I want to show you is how do you take care of it in the fall, the winter, and then into the summer. One thing I want to note is that look at all this, you know, these dead branches right here. I kept those there on purpose. Come down here and take a look. You see, let's get the grass out of the way. But let's, for example, look at this one. Look at this one right here. Look what's shooting off of it. Right there is a branch. Let's find another one with a better example of where it came off. Here we go. See this one right here? This is a really good example. This one right here has, I'll show you, right there, right here, you can see it has, the leaf keeps getting in the way. This has two branches coming off of it and one underneath. The reason I didn't cut these so-called dead branches off is because sometimes these branches shoot off of, you know, the original, I would call them like parents of the older branches. Now, yes, if you cut it all the way down to the bottom, it will shoot up um, new growth, but it can grow off of the old growth. So be really, really careful that you don't take that opportunity away from the plant. Now that it's showing no more life into this stalk right here, I will come down and take it off about right above where that one is growing. The other reason I left these on is because they support the plant. Instead of going out to your local where, you know, uh, handy store, uh, you know, supply store and buying all these fancy gadgets for your plants to keep them up and hold them together, let the plant do it naturally. And this is how it does it naturally. This is what's holding everything up. But now that it's the end of the season, I'm into the end of the summer, I will now take these off so the plant doesn't focus on them anymore. And then these will end up being the new stalks and assist the new growth. If you look down here, just give you another look. One thing I always do with my hydrangeas, they like a little bit of acidic soil. I love giving them, it's a little hard to see, but there's coffee grounds all over here. I take my old coffee every morning and I dump it into my garden. I can talk forever about hydrangeas, but this is just a minutia. Uh, definitely uh, follow, like, um, and comment below. I love, you know, chatting with everyone. You know, whether it's a small compliment or a goofy joke, I am happy with anything. So please comment below as well. Now that I'll start cutting, I can show you the before and after of what this looks like. So come down here. There's nothing off of this branch. Take that off. Nothing off of this one. Take that off. We can even look at the bottom. It's dry. There's nothing there. And even with my hand, I that went somewhere. But <laughs> you can see, um, even sometimes you can even bend them and break them yourself, but I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna break the bottom. So I'm just gonna come in here and just clip it myself. Oh, ha, ah, here's a mistake. Look at that. Look at that green growth in there. Right there, big mistake. That one was alive. I should have chopped that a lot higher. Big mistake on my part. And this is the mistake that people commonly make. Be careful. And now I'll show you the before and after. Here's the before. After about two minutes, this is the results. You can see that everything is just a little bit more flimsy, wiggly, because they don't have those uh, stalks right here supporting them but at this point the plant is pretty strong it can handle some winds some rains I'm not too worried but I'm not gonna touch this 
until I see growth next year. Hint, hint. Don't mess with the hydrangea until, until you start seeing green. Have a great day. Keep gardening.